Hey guys, welcome to Trek Yards live. Well, not live. It is kind of live. Q and A. It's live because we're both together. Yes, you guys asked a lot of questions, and we're going to address some of those right now. This second, first question, Stuart, is from San Aldoberto. Cool. I think is how you pronounce it. Sorry, San, Probably. if I got it wrong. Which ship designer were you most intimidated to meet oh. in person? Huh. That's a, a tough one for me because each time we talk to somebody new. I was oh. always like, I'm gonna, I'm really nervous. And then once we were into it for like a minute, it was just yeah. so at ease because they're such no normal, nice people. Yes, they and really then, are. And then for each time afterwards, it's kind of like, well, we're talking to Andrew again. I'm a little nervous again. <laughs> um, I, I don't know. What was... What? I think at this point, it's so hard to remember. It's been two years for some of them mm. and at least a year and a half for almost all of them. I mean, we, we get so few new guests at this point because we've always already got them all. And we've talked to so many, you know, 21, over 21 guests. It's difficult to get nervous now because we've had so many people. I think, I think Doug was surreal because he was our first. He was like, "Wow, this is Doug Drexler, that's so cool." But he's so friendly and so oh, it just it disarmed you straight away. Yeah, exactly. Andrew exactly. was Andrew was like, "This is this is the real deal." I felt. Uh -huh. um, uh -huh. Who else? Rick, like Andrew and Rick seem like grandpas to almost like friendly <laughs> grandpas that want to tell you stories yes. and you know. So they're very they're very comforting to talk to. Like I told Andrew that he reminds me of my dad because he does. Uh, so yeah, I don't know. Doug's just interesting. John Eves is a hoot to talk to. It's like talking to one of your best friends you haven't seen in years. I'm pretty sure the start of talking to me said, "You guys do a great show," and we're like, "Oh, that's a good start." <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and he started started out by, "Hi," you know, that's just what he does. And, and he was in a hotel, I think, at the time, wasn't he? Yeah, he was. Yeah. yeah. I don't think any of them, to some extent, and it's so difficult to remember the exact things. Probably Doug, just because it was our first one. Yeah, maybe. Doug and then Andrew, because I think Andrew was like our third one. Andrew and Rick, I think they're very close together. But we talked to them very, very quickly, and you know, it was a very, very strong month for us, and then, you know, years and years apart. But in person, it wasn't the most nervous in person, though, to meet. Mm. Yeah. Uh, well, probably Doug, because it's the first time meeting any of them in person. And then, well, you met John and Rick at uh, Wonderfest. Yeah, but that was in the, their kind of business setting. Okay. They're, used, they're used to meeting fans and stuff in That's that true. environment okay. where Doug was at his house. And I think he was nervous for us to be coming to his house. Thought we might rob him or mug him or something. I don't well, know. Those Emmys are pretty nice on the, on, the, on the shelf. Yes. At least 10 on eBay. <laughs> 20 on Etsy, but you have to say. Well, he hasn't noticed that we replaced them with fake ones yet. So That's We were good. really sneaky right yeah, there. Yeah, like, yeah. everything. Um, I don't, yeah, I, 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 was never, I was never to meet Rick, because, I mean, Doug, we talked to him so much, but yeah. Rick was like, I mean, I'd love all of Rick's stuff, honestly, he's such a good talent for TNG, I mean, he, he invented the tricorder and the pads and all these cool things. To be, to be honest. But they're friends at this point, so yeah. not really any nerves. To be honest, everybody we talk to is kind of a little bit nervous, like, we're nervous at first, I am at least, yeah. even like people like Thomas Maroney that work for Star Trek Online and stuff. Yeah. Just because you're meeting someone new. And you're not really meeting them. And like, for, for the most part, if they're on the show, we have an appreciation for their work. That's why they're on the show. Yeah. Yeah. And it's always good to have the video chat because it feels like yeah. you're kind of in person when even when you're not. So people like Sean Hargraves, who we haven't had face to face with yeah. yet, is kind of, I don't know. It's interesting because it's a different dynamic. Yeah. And to meet him in person, I think I might be a little nervous at the first time. To be fair, I think Sean I was quite nervous for because he, I mean, come on, the Beyond is the latest Star Trek movie any, of the Star Trek any properties, you know, to have that. And if JJ vs. is not what we all love the most, that film was, was great and they mm -hmm. designed some really good stuff for it. I mean, he was our, you could say, biggest motion picture designer. But in terms of budget, at least. No, I'd say Andrew is the biggest motion picture. But I mean, in terms of how much budget went oh, in the film, oh. just pure scale, Beyond had a bigger budget than any of the Star Trek films. Yeah, it's just, yeah, um, inflation. That too. So basically, the summarization on this Trek Yards Q&A, thank you very much for the question, was that I don't remember. <laughs> so long ago. Sorry, Doug and Andrew. So we have a question for you guys in the comments section yeah. below for this one. If any of you have met us, which a lot of you have, was was were you nervous meeting us? And who are you more nervous to meet? The British guy, the awesome, handsome, stylish, wearing a geek shirt. We're both wearing geek shirts. Transformers or Farscape? You guys pick. Um, or the captain, the one and only, the face. Ah, don't hit Sorry. my nose. <laughs> um, He's 3D, I can't help it. Yeah, because I get a lot of people <laughs> that they message me and they're like, oh my God, thank you for responding to me. And I'm like, I'm, yeah. just, I'm just a regular person like you. We're yeah. just, like, I don't see myself as anything special. No. But people, because we are 
They, out there. They, they, they see us every week or every day. Every day sometimes, yeah. Because you're crazy. You watch us every day. <laughs> they really get to know our personalities. Yeah. So they know us very well when they meet us, and they think of us as celebrities, but we're really not. We're just regular We're at least people. friends. With each other? No, I mean with them. Oh, because we're not friends on we're not friends off screen. I don't. We think. are very good actors. Yes, we actually hate each other, just like George Takai and William Shatner. Uh, who's who's which? Who's which? Well, I'm only Shatner because I'm the cool one. Oh. But on that note, thank you very much for watching this Trek Yards Q and A. We're both together. It's so much fun, and we hope you enjoy this show every single week to answer your questions and get some witty banter, or at least banter. Yeah, I yeah. don't know how witty it is. <laughs> <laughs> so until next time, guys, I'm Connor Cockins. And I'm Captain Foley. We'll see you next time. Bye, everybody. Bye, guys. <laughs>